Here in the Port City, Mayor Sandy Stimson is calling for a complete independent audit of the Mobile Housing Board's financials and daily operations. He's taking action because of this 78 page report from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Investigators determined the Housing Board failed to follow federal regulations, leading to financial mismanagement and possibly conflicts of interest when hiring contractors. We spoke to one local resident about the troubles she faces when dealing with the board. I've been over here going on five years, and, and since I've been in this apartment, like the third year stuff started going wrong with this apartment. I had to put in a request. Well, Monica Morissette lives in RV Taylor, one of Mobile's 13 public housing communities. The rain come in, I done had lizards to come in and everything. She says for the last year, she's complained about the hole in her back door. They ain't got number one maintenance person working. They either died in Roger Williams or they laid them out. When she opens the door to her bathroom, look up to peeling paint and a moldy ceiling. They told me I had to get some bleach to clean the walls and stuff. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. She believes the rundown conditions of her apartment have created health problems for her son. My son had the something was in his eyes from that ceiling in that room. He, I took him to the I literally took him to the doctor. And they said whatever is in the apartment is then they affected his eyes. Mobile has more than 3,000 government assisted homes. Nearly 10,000 people are on a waiting list for public housing. Yet more than 1,000 homes sit vacant. Since 2011, the Mobile Housing Board has received more than $20 million in funding to restore properties to make them available to renters. Yet the number of unrentable units has gone up. And current renters like Romonica aren't seeing improvements. The HUD report also points to possible conflicts of interest between Superior Masonry and a board member. The company received more than a million dollars from Mobile Housing, but there's no information here about that work performed or the name of the board member because the housing board apparently denied HUD access to its records.